My sister and I were never the best of friends. She was always favored by our parents, which really annoyed me. That's why I left home early to live by myself. But when my parents both got sick, I was the one who took care of them. My sister was nowhere to be seen. After they died, they left their entire fortune to my sister alone. At the funeral, she mocked what she was going to do with all the money. A while later, I found a letter, and this happened. Black small square but before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new story. Black small square I'll just start by introducing myself. My name is Zoe. I'm one of two daughters, and my parents are both dead. Throughout my youth, I always had to compete with my sister. Black small square she is the firstborn daughter and me, well, let's call me an unpleasant surprise. Black small square my sister, Julia, is two years older than me. She was the popular one in high school just as you would imagine, and was voted prom queen almost every year. Black small square I, on the other hand, was a little brown-haired wallflower who didn't even care to put on makeup until one day, my sister hurt me so badly that I decided I had to move out. I packed my bags and spent the next three years couch surfing at friends' houses. It went great for about three years. My parents didn't really bother getting me back into their home. They did offer me money every month, but I refused. But one day, two days after my 19th birthday, I got a call from an unknown number. Of course, I didn't answer. I knew better than that. But when the number called again and again, I got curious. So I picked up the phone not knowing my whole life was about to change it was my sister. Black small square her arrogant tone, as she said, hi sis still lingers with me every time I think back to that moment. She told me I'd better go home quick as our parents were very sick and were getting sicker by a day. Then she hung up the phone. She showed me the way to my parents' room. It was quiet, and they were both asleep in bed. I sat down on my mother's side of bed and just looked at them. I hadn't seen them in so long that they almost felt foreign to me, even though my parents never loved the way they loved my sister, I still love them the same every child loves their parents. Black small square I looked at Celeste and asked her where Julia was. Julia left my dear. She hasn't been home in over a week. Black small square I couldn't believe it. I had no other choice, but to stay in care for my sick parents. We gave them their medicine and fluffed up their pillows until one morning they just never woke up again. I had just begun to get used to my new routine and had become very close with Celeste. Together, we planned their funeral. I had no idea where my sister was staying, so I just texted her the news. My sadness still get overshadowed with anger when I think back at their funeral. Everything was just as Celeste and I had planned, and almost everyone we invited showed up to pay their respects. Black small square but there's just one thing that keeps bugging me, and that is how my sister was the one to ruin the day for me. Black small square she walked into the house on the day of the funeral, like she already owned the place. As soon as she saw me, she handed me a binder with documents. Everything is mine now, and she was right. Inside the binder were the inheritance documents, and my jaw dropped to the floor the moment I read that my parents had left everything, and I truly mean everything to my sister. She now owned the house, the staff, and my parents' fortune, and I had nothing I knew my sister was nothing short of an evil human being but I was still surprised by her lack of grief. Without my parents' house, I was homeless again and she knew that. How could I ever build a life for myself without a roof over my head? Black small square I stayed for the rest of the funeral, but as soon as all the guests were gone, I went back to my room. I decide since my sister already had enough money, I would just take every valuable thing I could find with me and sell it to be able to rent a place somewhere. I packed up the gold candlestick the silverware and a few of my grandmother's crystal vases, and I even took a painting off the wall in one of the bathrooms. Black small square I was on my way out with two bags full of stuff when I suddenly bumped into Celeste. She looked at me down at my bags and back at me. The room was drenched in memories. Every corner, every object brought a flood recollections. Black small square sitting on my parents' bed, the soft fabric beneath me felt like a connection to simpler times. I was jolted from my recovery by faint sounds from outside. It was then that something caught my eye. A peak of wood from beneath the bed, black small square kneeling down, I pulled out a beautifully carved little box. Its old intricate designs hinted at age and secrets. It felt heavy importance. Finally, with the back door in sight, I slipped out taking in the comforting embrace of the open air. Black small square walking down the path still catching my breath, I almost collided with Celeste. 
Without prompting, she handed over a key with an etched address. Black small square find comfort there, she whispered nodding towards the box. Black small square inside Celeste's home, there was a distinct sense of tranquility. Black small square walls adorned with family photos evoked a sense of belonging. With a soft click, the box finally revealed its secrets. Inside, there lay a set of old letters and photographs, traces of my parents past waiting for me to discover. Black small square inside the mysterious box, a hefty stack of cash was neatly placed on top. Why had my parents hidden such a large sum here? Black small square as the cash was set aside, a trove old photographs lay before me. The intrigue grew. What other secrets did this box hold? I shared the photos with Celeste whose eyes gleamed with recognition. Black small square with each image, she unveiled a new tale, painting a vivid tapestry of my parents' past and filling in the of stories I'd only have known under the photographs, an envelope with my name and mom's familiar handwriting awaited. Black small square the anticipation of its contents gave me pause. Black small square as I read the letter, every sentence unveiled shocking truths. Black small square my parents had altered their will, bequeathing both Julia and me equal shares of their assets. But the revelation that struck me hardest was the fate of our family home. It was mine. Black small square my eyes teared up, overwhelmed by the enormity of their final decision. The wind had barely settled when Julia stormed in, her face a mask of disbelief and fury. Black small square this is a lie, Zoe. She spat. Black small square I stood my ground clutching the letter close. It's their wish, Julia, I said, my voice shaking, but firm. Our once shared pain was now a chasm separating two sisters with the gulf of eagle warfare. I knew I needed guidance. Mr. Allen, a well-regarded lawyer in town, was my choice. Black small square this will isn't just paper whispered, handing over the letter, it's the voice of our parents. Black small square he nodded, assuring me he'd stand by my side in the impending storm. The town was buzz. From the grocery store to the post office, everyone was talking about it. Black small square I overheard Mrs. Julia wasn't backing down. She spread stories insisting the letter was a sham. Zoe's playing us all, she'd hiss to anyone who'd listen. My heart ached, how had our bond prayed so Bradley? I prayed that truth would prevail. The day Mr. Allen called me back to his office felt like an eternity, but his news was worth the eight. The letter's genuine. He proclaimed showing me reports and expert testimonials. Black small square a rush of relief surged through me. Our parents' wishes were clear, and I add the truth on my side, the next step awaited. The house felt different after the verdict, not just a structure, but a testament to my parents' love and wishes. Black small square bringing the house back to its former glory was my way of saying, thank you, mom and dad, black small square saw the moving van from my window. Black small square Julia with boxes in tow looked back at our family home one last time. Black small square our eyes met and in that fleeting moment, I saw a glimpse of the sister I once knew. Words weren't exchanged, but there was a silent acknowledgement of the pain we both felt. She drove away leaving behind more than just the house. Celeste was there like always with her unwavering support. The community too stood by me in their gestures, kind words, and invitations I felt loved, the house became more than bricks and mortar. It is a sanctuary of memories, love, and new beginnings, there amid its walls, I found my purpose and peace. My parents might be gone, but their legacy will forever thrive through me. My sister and I were never the best of friends. She was always favored by our parents.